Hey everybody, Aza Grendel here, and uh, we're standing at the top of the world of our uh, of our wonderful base. Oh, check that out, guys. We have that's what I was talking about. Pillagers. See, that's why we have a fence. Their leader is stuck in a hole over there, but they're just walking around with crossbows. I don't think they should come near near us at all. But that's why we have a wall. So. This time around, uh, there's a couple things I want to do. Uh, first, I want to go check out that village today. And uh, also, I wanted to show you that uh, <clears throat> I went ahead and I have a carrot and a um, potato farm on the outskirts now. Uh, I haven't really done much. Um, I did come through here and label everything uh, these are item frames and item frames go ahead and show you what that looks like Let's see uh, da -da 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 -da. there we go oh duh I need to have a crafting table for that one right anyway so I put item frames on everything and everything that's in here is what it says we got dirt cobble uh, up here I have the little odds and ends that's why I'm using an item frame for that um, <clears throat> everything here is oak, everything here is dark oak, everything here is birch, blah blah blah, that kind of stuff. Uh, this is the uh, passive mob drops. Uh, my cat brought me a rabbit's foot. And um, this is the aggressive mob drops. That's bone meal. You make bone meal out of bones. So. And, uh, and I got food on this side. So... Just wanted to go over that. I've been doing a little bit more enchanting. Uh, let's see. I'll just go give you guys a view on that one. Let's see, we got uh, blast protection and respiration. Respiration is going to let us breathe underwater. We've got fire protection and unbreaking. And uh, they're they're all pretty self-explanatory. I'm happy to go into more detail. Uh, I made it so that the things that we use as uh, tools that we need to keep on us are right here and let's go ahead and get some sleep <clears throat> and we will go to that village and check out what's going on um, I'm gonna go ahead and bring a hoe uh, just in case and um, yeah that should be everything that we need let's go check that out uh, I did take off the um, I took out the pressure plate because my cat um, I want it to be able to follow me inside. Oh, there's the pillagers. I think we're going to go this way. We should be able to take the boat and get pretty close. So, we're going to go this way. I actually love traveling by boat in this game. It's kind of relaxing. You get to see the fish underneath the water. Salmon. That's all we got is salmon in our river. Not complaining. Salmon are, are great. Oh, never mind. Salmon and squid. That's what we have in our in our river. I don't see any cod, though. It's kind of strange. Oh, he flopped right out of the water there. This is good, too, because it's going to give us a chance to grab a uh, spruce. Some spruce saplings, which is a whole new variant of wood, which is going to be nice. Uh, there's also, over there, we can see that darker grass and those can barely see the other trees, but there's acacia wood. There's one right there. Uh, and that is a redwood variant. So let's go ahead and take that. And of course we didn't bring our we didn't bring our uh, <clears throat> our um, compass because that would have been smart. I'm going to go ahead and break these. Hopefully we'll get a sapling. I have no intention on cutting this tree down. But I would like a sapling. Oh, it's going to kill my hoe. Ah, there we go. We got one sapling. That's good enough. We can start a forest from a single sapling. Okay, yeah. We should be able to see our house from the village if we can see the village from our house so we should be okay 
Ooh, look at that. We have another abandoned portal. And where is this village? There it is. See the church. Or the temple, or whatever you want to call it. But we have a nice little villager settle settlement. Uh, and this is a taiga vill villager settlement. Like I said, it was kind of themed. Well, this road is pointless. Um, <clears throat> and what you're going to have is villagers dressed in different clothes here. Are you a villain? Oh, you're a standard old villager. Oh, we forgot our... We forgot the uh, emeralds. That stinks. Anyway, let's see what we got. We're probably going to pillage this place. We're going to rob this place. <laughs> Oh, uh, do we want to rob the place, or? Because I kind of want that. I want the brewing stand. But our other adventure... We know where to get a brewing stand. How about that? Our other adventure to today... Um, I want to go to the nether and see if we can find a... Uh, wow, this place is nice. I want to go to the nether. This is not a... Uh, this is not a village. Um, this is not a taiga village. This is a regular plains village. It just happens to be bleeding over into this. So this is the same kind of village. What is that? Carrots? Carrots? Beets. Awesome. We got beets. I want the beets. Alright. Um, oh, another thing is over at our base, I dragged some pigs we have pigs now because uh, pigs will eat carrots and beets and potatoes and we have carrots and potatoes at home so there's another cat variant we um we now have pigs that i'm breeding we'll take a look at those Ooh, nice big house oh nope that's another blast furnace. Kind of want your blast furnace. I'm not really big on stealing from the villagers. Um, but I will completely admit that that is an expensive tool and I really don't feel like making it. How about you, buddy? What do you want? You want carrots. Okay. Oh. The other guy bought... Um, the other guy bought... Uh... <laughs> Oh, look, a mason. Look at that. The other guy buys uh, wheat, so let's go ahead and sell him his own wheat back, I guess. And um, unfortunately, no blacksmith. That's what I was hoping for. Um, the cat is going at it again. At least this time she's not in the room. <laughs> Oh, I planted the pumpkins also. I guess I should take a little walk around our uh, base and show you what changes have occurred, because a few have. I think it might be a good idea to go ahead and bring one or two of these villages back over to our house, our, uh, house also. And there's a couple ways of going about that. There we go. That's everything we got. Did we upgrade you? Yes, we did. What do you buy now, buddy? You buy beets? Awesome. Okay, let's uh, head on back to our base. We'll take a little walk around to show you guys, because completely, completely uh, spaced out on the things that I was going to show you because of the pillagers. I'm going to blame the pillagers. Oh, my boat. My boat. I can't just... Oh, my boat's in my inventory. Wow. We are in a great place today. Actually, we are. I mean, look at this. Look how beautiful this, this area is. This is great. So there's a couple of things that we are hoping to find. Uh, we are going to the nether, and first and foremost, we want to find a uh, nether fortress, which is made out of the red brick... Um, other than that, we also need to find, if we're lucky, um, 
in the nether fortress there are chests and sometimes those chests have a saddle because I would really really like to go back and get that donkey we saw in the last episode but uh, let's see see what we got going on okay let's go ahead and plant this you see I tore this up this is I guess our nursery this is where we're gonna plant the babies that need to grow um, until we can get them in the big the big farm area uh, I got I went ahead and I planted the 12 pumpkin seeds that we have I put this above it so that nothing can accidentally land on it because every once in a while we get cows they get loose uh, we got pigs I'm feeding them carrots currently we also have the ability to eat potatoes and we will get piglets because pork is a pretty good, pretty good food um, our cows uh, you can see that I called a few of them and the reason why I did that is oh oh how did you get in there how did you get in there there's no opening well we don't want to fight him because he's got a banner and the banner means he's the leader if you get rid of the leader what happens is uh, you get a curse um, basically it's uh, um, oh there's a few of them in there uh, you'll get <laughs> okay buddy you do that um, anyway you'll get branded and they will come at you um, I feel like we need some things let's grab some things let's grab some pickaxes I was in here mining you can see I'm clearing it all out um, and we've got some more stuff um, okay so let's go ahead and grab some pickaxes and that actually you know what we're gonna want to bring a good amount of cobble also because we're gonna want to be safe we're gonna end up building a cobble road whichever way we're heading and what I'm thinking is we're gonna just walk straight out from the doorway um, <clears throat> of our little panic shelter in the nether and I'm gonna build what are known as scumpuses um, I was describing what that was before a scumpus is me breaking my neck crawling down a hole um, a scumpus was is a, uh, a directional device used invented by um, another uh, very popular Minecraft YouTuber known as Skizzle Man. He's awesome. He's uh, a good friend of the Hermit Impulse SV. And um, I am so glad that he decided to share, put that in there, uh, exactly what a scumpus is because that has saved my life more times than I can remember. Let's go ahead and throw that in there. And we need some coal. I'm gonna bring an entire stack of coal. I'm gonna use this. Oh, you know what? We have we have a thing already. Let's go ahead and put this guy down. Right there. We'll get rid of the hoe. Let's bring the hoe. There's things. There's things that are useful. Okay, don't need to bring the other shoes, and off we go. Alright, now the reason why... Why do you keep following me in here? My This is like... My cat keeps following me in here. Anyway. We do need wood. We're gonna do this and we're gonna need a lot of torches Let's go ahead and put that there I like to line my torches up along that side so they're easy to get through and here we go 
Now, we are going to go straight forward because if you keep on a good X or Z axis, you will eventually come across one. It it can take a while. Um, this is actually kind of an intimidating mission. Because here we are, wandering through a hell dimension. Okay, that's getting to the point where we can't see it. So here's our first compass. I'm going to put that right there. That way, and that way. That is so from a distance we can see where that is. And this will point the way to the next destination. Which in this... Dude? Okay. Come on. Sorry guys, my cat has decided that he's suicidal today. Come on. I do not want my cat following me around. I like my cat. I want to keep my cat. Come on. Dude. You're going to get blown up by a ghast. Ugh. You'll be fine there. Okay, so let's run to the first compass. This is actually a good test because you can see this compass from a distance. Pigs. Okay, and then the next one is going to be set where we can see that one. Oh, there's Enderman down here. So let's just make sure we can. Oh, I saw some. Okay, so let's go ahead and put another scumpus right here. Pointing to home. And let's see what we can see. We're looking for a red brick coming through the walls or freestanding. And we up, up. That is probably it right there. That's either just a shadow. Or we have another fortress right here, which is great. Um, let's go ahead and come down here. And I'm going to do this. I know it's fairly short, but I want to make sure I know exactly where I'm going. This is going to be dangerous. Um, Okay, I'm gonna crouch and I'm gonna use my WASD keys, my W A S D keys, to carefully maneuver my way over this massive lava ocean. And I am just holding down my right click button on my mouse. Oh no, 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 not a gas, not a gas. Okay, we're getting close. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna put another scumpus right here. Not happy that I hear. Oh, there he is. Okay, I'm gonna. Okay, here's a problem. This right here is soul soil, and the ones over there. Crap. <laughs> Oh, we're surrounded. Okay. Ugh, soul soil. Oh, man. This is what the scumpus is for. We're probably gonna get lost. Uh, anyway, walking on this stuff slows you down, specifically the soul soil, or the soul sand. Got him. Now, something cool about this is the sand does burn blue, so we can actually make decorative fire features out of that. Uh. 
Sorry about that, guys. That was a lot more stressful than it needed to be. Um, we do need some of this soul sand and soul soil. So, uh, I was kind of hoping. See, we're sinking in the sand. It can't. I see another gas. Okay. Anyway, I'm just trying to make a safety road here. So we have a way to walk without getting too caught up. Okay. Really? I don't like you. Okay, we are going to take a turn and go this way and hopefully get out of this biome which is called a soul sand valley. This is why I brought all this uh, cobble. Alright, that is most definitely That is most definitely a, a fortress, but it's like way on the other side of the ocean there. I don't know if we have enough. Only one way to find out. We are going to cross this, and yes, I am nervous, but once we leave the Soul Sand Valley, we should be a little bit safer from ghasts, a little bit. They still spawn, they just don't spawn as much. We could very well die here, and if we die here, then we'll be zapped back to the overworld, to our bed, where it will have all been a dream. However, eh, there's a cube in the lava. Um... We'll be zapped back to our overworld, safe in our bed, where this would have all been a dream, but all of the tools and stuff that we have on us, all of our equipment will be gone. Luckily, we don't have anything that's irreplaceable. We are almost done, and we're going right into another Soul Sand Valley. That's awesome. might do is another scumpus. Trying really, really hard not to get this Enderman's gaze. Okay, so we're getting very close. I want to want to still avoid oh my gosh we are oh the whistling is or not whistling the whispering is crazy We gotta get over there. Now, the reason, again, 
that we are doing all this cobble is twofold. One, to help us not get lost in the nether. Second, Sorry, um, second is to not get stuck in the soul sand. Should be using stone. Now, there could very well be a lava pit anywhere. Um, should really be using this. Another rack. Anyway, there could very well be a lava pool anywhere. Um, and... You need to be careful when going through uh, when you're actually digging through netherrack due to the fact that the lava can just pour out of the wall. There's lava pockets literally everywhere. I do that to mark stairs. Okay, I'm not 100% happy with these waterfall or the lava falls here, but that's going to be something that we have to deal with later. It looks like the um, Another fortress is actually inside of a scarlet forest or crimson forest. Okay. Oh, these piglins, they make such wonderful sounds. I hear you, buddy. It's always best to dig slowly in the nether, so stone tools are going to be preferable, even over iron. Okay, here we are. Now, we're going to have to break in, so let's go ahead and... Make sure this is well marked. <sighs> so we got to get up to the top to get in. Might be a good idea. Making pretty good time. We're only about 30 minutes in. And we're about to get a, yep, terrible fortress.
Okay, now what we're looking for might be right there. We are looking for a... Uh, we're looking for something called a blaze spawner. Which is going to look like a little iron box. That is it. That is in fact what we're looking for. Oh, this is difficult. Okay. They should be trapped up there. What we're going to do is dig out from underneath them. Until we start seeing netherrack again. Here we go. Okay. I'm going to clear all this nether brick out. Because we need what this mob drops. And what this mob drops... Whew, let's go ahead and... Uh, Turn down hostile creatures a little bit. Anyway, what this mob drops is an item known as a uh, blaze rod because these little guys are blazes. I think it's funny that the first spawner that we find is a blaze spawner. that open all the way around? Yes, it is. Go like this. So we are going to need about at least seven blaze rods. Um, I'm probably just going to go I'm going to show you how to get one. Ha ha ha. Sorry for the quiet. This is a really tense moment. building a lot of craft tables, but that might be necessary. I'm either going to put a door on here so we're not snuck up on. Okay. We are going to need... Let's go ahead with cobble. that and then we're going to take that should probably be filled in I'm usually up for making sure that we have a big I'm up for having a taller Taller ceiling, but I think this is the middle. Oh, nope, one more over. Anyway, now we can kind of see them up there. They fly, they're made out of fire. This is the uh, spawner that we're right underneath, and you can see a little little guy floating around in there. Let's go ahead and give them a little bit more room. Oh, 
Make sure they don't see us. There we go. See their little feet sticking down there. They can't get us down here. Come on, guys. And they're gonna spawn. They will spawn in the actual fortress by itself from time to time. But this is primarily where they will come from. So let's go ahead and get a couple of blaze rods. There's one. Okay, let's go ahead and get that. Now this is why I wasn't in a hurry to steal that from the village because one of these is our brewing stand. We are good to go now. Let's go ahead and get a couple more. All right. I think what I'm going to do is leave this off here. Let's get out of here. One good thing about blazes is you do get a lot of experience from them. Awesome. So happy about that. So we got that. We've got a few minutes left. Let's uh, check out some more of this place. go ahead and put another scumpus down right here and I like to put a scumpus down at any crossroads pointing to the exit there's another blaze spawner oh there's a pig 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 no well we might be able to with a good iron sword Oh man, here we go. Whew. Those hoglins, they are nice because they drop leather and fi oh gosh. Okay, well, I think that this is about as far as we're going to explore the leather fortress. We have uh, what we came for, which was the blaze. Uh, the blaze spawner we got a couple blaze rods and we have a brewing stand so let's head on out and uh, carefully go down this ladder we have a pretty clear straight shot straight home we need to make this a little bit more user friendly though I think Maybe we'll come through here with some stairs and some more cobblestone and clean up this mess. Oh, God. Yep, yeah, I know. I hear you. I know. <sighs> the nether is not a safe place. We come in here with a bow and arrow and some blast protection, and we could be good. I think the first thing... Oh, no. Oh, no. We're not done. we got to go back. Dude, get out of the way. We are not done.
We got to go back because we are missing a, cru a crucial thing. We have the soul sand. We have the soul soil. What we don't have is nether wart. Nether wart is a fungus that grows in the nether almost exclusively in the fortresses. We need to be able to make at least a small farm of that if we're going to be brewing because it's the main ingredient to most potions. Oh man. Why is this? All right. No reason to ask why. This is how it is. We got to go. I really wish you could break down nether wart cuz this is nether wart blocks. Unfortunately, you can't break it down. There's a baby pig. Check down this hall. You see, I only do these at the uh, crossroads. If we could find a big staircase, that would be helpful. Because a big staircase, uh, they, the um, Nether wart grows in gardens around the bases of the big staircases and the nether fortresses. Is this a dead end? Looks like a dead end. Dead end. Okay, cool. Well, we can block off part of the nether fortress then. I love the sound that nether bricks make when you step on them also. Okay. Another thing is we need to be careful about the different things that live here. We have no reason to be coming back through here again, so... Let's break that right there. Okay, there's nothing over there. Let's check this way. We have the zombie piglins that live here. We have the ghasts. We have skeletons like we would see in the overworld. And we have one other thing, which are the wither skeletons. Wither skeletons have swords instead of bows. Ooh, a trunk. We have swords instead of bows. And they're about three feet taller. I think I just heard one. <gasps> Saddle! Diamond armor! Okay, well, that's not a bad thing. We're running into good stuff now. That's good. That's good. Kind of want to bring this, but don't have room, so we're just going to do that. Okay, what's this? Okay. We might end up, yeah, we're going to have to leave me wandering the halls of this nether fortress. And, uh, gold, obsidian. Okay, what we're going to do is drop off a couple items that we don't need. I want the obsidian. Gold chest plate can stay. Anyway, I think, guys, this is where we're going to leave it. And, uh,.
This place, oh my gosh, the nether. Let me know if anybody else gets really freaked out by the nether. <laughs> the one saddle that's a dead end okay well guys I think that this might very well be where we're gonna leave off for right now um, all right we're in one of the most dangerous places of Minecraft we have what we came we have half of what we came for and the next time we will continue with search for nether wart so that we can start our brewing. <sighs> Have fun. Keep playing with your kids. And I'll see you next time. Bye.